My name is Bethel Nemeka Amadi, a member of the Nigerian Parliament. I'm the first Vice President of the Pan-African Parliament. Okay, so um, having gone through this um, session, what is your impression of the climate change in Africa now? Well, I believe that the issues are quite clear. Why people are talking about the possible effects on Africa, I think the effects are already there and real. Issues of drought, reduction in rainfall, drying up of our rivers and streams, areas where people used to be able to farm before, they can no longer farm there. We're having a lot of internal migration. There's poverty issues, of course, already sitting down there. There are issues of food security, management of our water resources. And these issues are real for most African countries. And a lot of the communal strife and even the civil strife that you have in Africa is fight over scarce natural resources. And the resources are dwindling by the day. There's desert encroachment issues, which are clear and defined. So for us in Africa, the problems are already there, and we need to begin to find solutions to them. But do you think African governments are aware of these um, changes, and do you think they are committed towards addressing them? Because you called for an internal solution to our problems. Yes, I believe that there is inadequate information about climate change in Africa. The media is not informed, the politicians are not informed, the governments are not informed, the people are not informed. There is need to begin a mass reorientation and campaign in Africa to bring awareness of this very, very critical issue. Because the situation is here, it's no longer futuristic. It's, 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 the problem is here now. So there's need for us to galvanize support from the African government. And that support needs to be pushed by parliamentarians, by the political class, by the media, by the NGOs, to ensure that we bring the issue of climate change and its side effects to the front burner of national discourse in our various countries. You also talked about um, compensation. Um, what should it should be in terms of projects and not money? Could you just um, highlight that a bit? Yes, because basically, as you know, uh, climate change in Africa, uh, we are suffering the most, but we produce the least, we emit the least amount of uh, greenhouse gases. So we are demanding that we be compensated. But we are not asking for uh, uh, cash. We are asking that they should do, in terms of technology transfer, knowledge transfer, research, information, in areas of education, and then of course, to concretely put on the table what projects that they will do to mitigate some of these problems. Problems, problems of, uh, of uh, water resource management, so we can talk about hydroelectricity projects, we can talk about solar energy projects, we can talk about uh, uh, agricultural projects that can put food on the table and put our people back to work. Those are the things we're looking for. That's the kind of partnership that makes sense to us.